If you've ever been wondering how your beard hair grows, well, I've kind of got a quick video just to talk through some of that with you guys right now. So beard hair is actually the result of testosterone and testosterone helps hair grow in a variety of places on a man's body. So your pubic region, your, your, your chest, your back, just pretty much all over the shot. Like testosterone is that, that manly gene and it really is one of the main ingredients to grow in a decent beard. So having a good testosterone level really does help produce hair. Now, there is one other key hormone and that's DHT, DHT, which stands for, give me a second. It stands for dehydrotestosterone. Dehydrotestosterone, I'm, I think that's right. Just if any of you guys know a little bit more, just confirm that's right in the comments. What DHT is, is a form of testosterone. So it actually uses your testosterone and converts it into DHT. Tea. Normally about 10% of your testosterone in your body becomes this DHT hormone. Now this is actually pretty powerful and I might have just been a little bit misspoken in terms of calling DHT a hormone. It's a, it's a sex steroid. I mean that just sounds pretty crazy to me. DHT kind of operates in the same areas as testosterone. So your chest, your belly, your pubic region, your face but it lingers there for longer, it attaches to those areas and stays there, which means it can have far more of a poignant effect, which means typically that you grow more hair if you have more DHT in those areas. Like we've also said, growing a beard isn't always possible. If you don't have the genetics, and some guys, you know, you've seen them, they're, they're 30 years old and they've not had a single hair on their chin, in the 30 years they've been alive. You, you know at least one person like that. And that's probably just because in their family line, like we said earlier on, they've had no one that's really had the genes to produce a beard. And it doesn't matter how much testosterone or how much DHC they produce, they're not gonna grow one. Now what you actually find is quite interesting is, there's a link between DHT levels and baldness in men. So typically guys that go bald early, or just have suffered with baldness, they actually have higher levels of DHT, which normally means that they, so long as their genetics are right, can grow an awesome beard. And you've probably seen so many different guys that have no hair, but they have these fucking awesome beards. But guys, that's, that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about today. Like, I just wanted to chat about how beard hair kind of grows why you need the right genetics as like the first point, but actually how testosterone levels and the, the DHT levels can make a significant difference overall. But guys, thanks for watching once again. Part of the question of the day today, I just wanna ask, when did your beard actually start growing to its full potential. When did it start getting thick and full and when did you start getting some decent length on the beard? So I'd be really interested to know. Let me know in the comments below and we'll see you very soon guys. Goodbye.